Okay, folks, welcome to LifeIsHardTV.com. We're at Glen Rose Spirit Shop today with Roy Neal and the owner and Super Dave, Chef Dave. Thanks for the introduction, Larry. Great, great job. Now, uh, Roy and I were talking a couple weeks ago, and, you know, I love to cook, and we just started talking about the best wines to use in cooking, and I just assumed, uh, with my limited knowledge, any white, any red, Nope. If you like to use white or red, depending, but there's a lot more to it than that. So uh, let's get into it a little bit. What do you recommend for whites and why, and what do you recommend for reds? Well, let's cut why? back a little bit. I mean, okay. grocery stores sell cooking wine. Never buy those. They sell Marsala, they sell white wine, they sell red wine. They add so much salt in those products so that people can't buy them to drink. Is that right? Oh, so really? why would you cook with them? So high sodium in those. Oh, huge, huge. Enough to kill Never Enough to kill you. Label. Enough to kill you. So, I read every food label. I've never read a right. wine label for sodium content. So, wow. so go to a wine shop. Tell them you need a wine for cooking, not a cooking wine. Rule one, if you can't drink it, don't cook with it. Okay? Good ex inexpensive wines. I have four categories that I like to follow. Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc for whites. For reds, I use Pinot Noir mostly. And I actually, the new rage is port. Port is a great marinator. But let's go back to the white. Okay, we need to do scallops. We need to do lighter dishes. Definitely Pinot Grigio, okay? Uh, we all grew up using plain old Chablis for cooking. Kind of boring, doesn't add a lot of flavor, but it does break down the food, so it's nice and tender. Pinot Grigio gives you a little bit more to it. Sauvignon Blanc, my favorite, okay? We're cooking chicken, we're cooking mushrooms. We got mushrooms, olives, uh, mushrooms, onions, garlic. You need a white wine sauce. Hi. We're gonna serve it with some chicken. Hi there. It's a lot of fun, give you a lot more flavor, and then whatever you got left, you can serve with the meat. That's so a key yeah. fact. How much should you spend, uh, you know, typically on a bottle to cook with that you should, all, you know, you're also going to drink with? A good wine for drinking, you can you can usually find it between five and six dollars. Yep, great. So not a lot of money. Right. Okay. One of the biggest fans now. Everybody's coming in lately. They went to the movies. Julia and Julia. Oh, how to make beef burgundy? Well, first of all, beef burgundy. Burgundy reds are Pinot Noir. A good French Burgundy entry levels probably about fifteen, fourteen dollars. A little expensive for cooking. Right. Go to countries where their money is a little, well, not as good as ours. Argentina is worth twenty-three cents on the dollar. Good Pinot Noir from Argentina you can buy for five bucks. Right. Works. Is that what this one is? Right That's here? it. This is Rocky Ridge Vineyards from Mendoza, one of the most famous regions in Argentina for wine. Lovely wine, great for drinking. Four ninety-nine a bottle. That's Unfortunately, great. with beef burgundy, you use the whole thing, so you're gonna need two: one for drinking, one for Still, cooking. You're only out ten bucks. And you're, uh, uh, yeah, and you got the whole meal. Yeah. Good quality too. Great. Excellent stuff. Pork. Okay, men like steak. We like to grill. We're starting to get up in, up in money a little bit with pork usually. Or? Pork, good marinating pork. You're probably gonna start around ten dollars. Okay. But it keeps too. So you only use half a cup. Cup. You use your Ziploc bag with your spices. You're doing a rub, whatever you're doing, and then just let it marinate. And why is it? Uh, why does it keep, Roy? It's got brandy in it, Larry. Oh, it's fortified. Fortified wine. How long will it keep? Um, Go ahead. What we always have a rule with port, port. It's real simple. If it has a pull top, months. If, has a, if you need to open it with a corkscrew, drink it as quick as you can. It's real simple with port. So most of your ports that you buy around ten to twelve dollars. They all have pull tops. You can pull them off by hand. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a synthetic cork with a pull. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's got a little yes, plastic yes, cap, yes. and you pull it right off. So if it has a cork, like you said, a and real would, cork. And that's vintage pork. By the way, vintage pork is only 2% of all the yeah. pork production okay. in the world. So you, and they're really expensive. And you, they start at 30 lot, and keep going. And you crack that open, you should drink it within a couple of days. Yeah, have your friends over. Got you it, know, got it, got it. great okay. for when your kid turns 18 and you made it kind of thing. and you. You want, don't want to share it with your kid, but for yourself. Right. Right. Okay? Right. But that's pretty much Excellent. it. Excellent. Port is a great follow through on marinating now, and since U.S. grills a lot, it works super. My wife cooks the meatballs and puts it right in tomato sauce, too. Nice. So the port, really? yeah, I was going to ask about that. Put it right in stews, chili. I mean, so it's endless what you can do with pork. Great. Yep. Great. Well, it's always excellent. on top of my stove. Good information. I'm going to start to cook with port more, and uh, I've been I've been doing well with the Pinot Grigios. I've been using those luckily, so I've been on the right track with that, so that's great. 
but uh, definitely learned something about the Reds. So good, a lot of fun, excellent. Yeah. Thanks, Roy. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Have a great one. Thanks so much. Life is hard TV. Life short for the rest of us. The Wine Channel. Larry's on the camera. God John's help us. behind us over at Wine Unwrapped. Check out that website. You'll like it. Uh, GlenroeConnecticut.com. GlenroeCT.com. And become a friend and family on Facebook. Facebook. They're up on Twitter. Uh, Life is Hard is on Twitter. Cooking is Hard TV is on Twitter. We're going to get that all together. Available on iTunes as well. So it's uh, one big happy family. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.